What to expect when you come to hospital with meningitis? The first thing that you're likely to experience when you come to hospital with meningitis after seeing a doctor is a lumbar puncture. This is a needle which goes into the lower part of your spine and is able to draw fluid from the lower part of your spine. And we do this because the fluid in your spine is connected to the fluid in your meninges in your brain, which is where the bugs are which cause meningitis. And so by taking fluid from the lower part of the spine, it is likely that we're able to also identify the bugs which are causing the meningitis. Sometimes before we do a lumbar puncture, we, you may also ask to have a brain scan. And this is just a standard scan of the head uh, where we can look for any evidence of things other than meningitis before we perform the lumbar puncture procedure. Following a diagnosis of meningitis, we would then start the relevant treatment for you in hospital. When you get discharged from hospital, this treatment may continue. It is important to bear in mind that not all your symptoms will resolve after you are discharged from hospital, and some symptoms may persist for slightly longer than others. This includes cognitive impairment, which may take longer to get better, some changes in your hearing, and also, in some cases, damage to other parts of the body, which may involve other specialists if the bugs had spread, not just to your brain, but other parts of the body. Sometimes we will also ask you to take antibiotics or other medications with you at home, so the treatment doesn't just finish with you in hospital, it may continue whilst at home. And finally, in some cases, depending on the bug causing your meningitis, we may also ask other members of your family to also take certain medications to prevent them from getting the same infection as you did.